Dan, where are you and the team on this sector now? John, we're still relatively cautious, and, and we've been underweight for, for some time. I think, to, to Sarah's point, not only do you have profitability issues for the regionals, they're the ones who are most exposed to commercial real estate, of course, as well, right? And so when you think about those carry trades of the, the era of zero cost of capital coming on, wow, we are starting to see notable uh, updates there. The second thing I'll say has to do with regulatory clarity. So when you think about the big banks, to Sarah's point, they have been cleaning up balance sheets for over 10 years. They're more exposed to a strong consumer and on the resi side of things, which is held up just fine. But when you look at, again, the regulatory environment for the regionals, it's evolving. We're going to hear in May and June new rules related to capital ratios, liquidity requirements, et cetera. And so when I think about the backdrop, John, the events of the last month or so in terms of the quick actions from the Fed and the FDIC have certainly probably been credit sensitive and credit friendly. But when you think about the equities in terms of new capital ratios, a growth slowdown, potential slowing of buybacks, there's still some pain to come, we think.